Today, we're going to talk about measuring productivity on your jobs. Okay, so I just have this great question right here. This one. Read that. Awesome quality questions. You know, quality questions get quality answers and they and they return you the biggest, um, they have the biggest return on what you get. So the way we measure our productivity is based off of an hourly rate. So our hourly rate is a little bit different for landscaping versus lawn care and lawn maintenance and a little bit different for fertilization weed control, a little bit different for all the services because different things go into them. Um, and, and determining those hourly rates is based off of all of your costs, so all of your overhead, fixed overhead costs, shop, uh, bills, things that don't go away, and all of that getting recovered, an hourly rate derived off of that that needs to be recovered, and then that passes down, gets tacked onto an hourly rate per crew, so an hourly rate for the for crew per man hour um, to recover like the equipment that actually directly goes to that job. So this all gets figured for different services on what we need to recover per hour. And then we base all of our rates off of that. So our, all our hourly rates are based off those numbers. You know, I pre-project the what people can make in those rates, you know, um, average pay rate on a crew is this so if they do better they can get more if they do worse then they still don't go anywhere you know they don't get a raise yet um but it's it's as simple as that and really the hardest part and the most legwork you have to do on the whole thing is determining the true cost of your business not just guessing based off of what other people say or whatever what everybody else is doing or this yard cost 50 bucks to cut and this one cost 25 bucks to cut you know it's based off of your true numbers, your true overhead. Figure out what it takes. You know, another thing that's overhead that's not a cost of actually the goods sold or the service provided is, you know, everybody in the office, your your owner's salary, things like that. If you're not actually out in the field producing, it's it's overhead, fixed overhead that is not producing money. So, and some could say you're producing some sort of money because you're selling, but not actually out there laboring in the field, causing the work to get done. So you need to be able to spread all of those costs over the entire year, over the amount of employees you project to have or the volume of business you project to do, and then see what the number is to be recovering it. Now with that, when you look at jobs, you know, you estimate a job, you estimate it for this much material, this many man hours, and then the way we check our productivity is after the job, we cost the job. And job costing is as simple as taking all your material prices out of that invoice total and looking at how many man hour, how many how many dollars you have left over and dividing that by the true hours that were put into the job so the true hours and you know I used to get really really hung up on you know these are uh, figuring man hours it's always been a passion of mine like looking into job costing has always been something I was crazy about um, and I got really hung up with was this on the job or was this from the time you left the shop to the time you got back to the shop? And I used to really look at on the job, and I still do a lot with mowing, but with landscaping, it's more of now the total time people are clocked in is the hourly rate that we are trying to drive because there's a lot of times where, you know, a lot of our costing is based on eight hours a day. And if it's if it's only, you know, if, the, if it's going to take up seven hours of their day, we're still going to charge for eight hours of it. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope that shows you how I look at it, how we cost jobs, and then based off those hourly rates, then you can check the productivity of what they're doing. So if you need to make $50 an hour and they're making 30, then you're not doing well. If you need to make $50 an hour and they're doing 90, you're killing it. And you're probably killing it so much that you're probably not gonna achieve that on every job. So it's a constant battle. You win some, you lose some. All of this, in my mind, is a game of averages. So it's really what is the average trending at? and watch the average and check the productivity of the average. Guys, go out there, be productive, and keep things rolling. Talk to you soon.